So today I am going to be talking to you about the five positives of being small and the five negatives of being small. So if you haven't met me before, you would know that I am really, really short for my age because I'm currently 21 and I'm not even 150 centimeters. So I'm really, really short for my age. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the five positives and the five negatives about being short. Starting off with the positives, number one, you get cheaper entry when you're going to the movies or when you're going to an event or slash show, so like the Melbourne show or something. Um, because I'm so small and I don't look my age, I get cheaper entry and I don't have to pay for adult, I can pay for child entry, which is a bonus because it's saving money. Number two. You don't have to pay for extra leg room when you're buying a plane flight ticket. Because I have such short legs, I don't need that extra leg room and that's a bonus for me because I'm, once again, saving money on plane tickets. Number three, when you buy three quarter length pants, they are not three quarter length pants on you, they are full length pants on you. So you don't have to worry about buying full length pants when you can buy three quarter length pants because they are practically full length pants on you, which is a bonus sometimes. Number four, you have more excuses to buy heels. So when my mum says, oh my gosh, you have enough shoes already. I'm like, mum, I'm short, I need more heels and anyone who is short needs an excuse to buy more heels because then you look tall. Number five, when you are playing hide and seek, you can hide in smaller places where tall people can't. So because I am so short and small, I can fit into tiny places just like if you're going to hide under the bed, like I can fit because I'm so short. Whereas if someone tall tries to fit under their bed, their legs may um, may hang out the bottom of the bed. And then it's an instant giveaway that they are under the bed. So I can hide into smaller places and not have to hide my legs or manoeuvre my legs around, if that makes any sense. So... They are the five positives, and now on to the five negatives. Number one, people constantly think that I'm lying about my age because I am so short that when I say to everyone, oh, I'm 21, they're like, no way. I've had so many people, like, when I just say, yeah, I'm 21, they're like, bullshit. <laughs> And I'm like, actually, no, I know I'm really short, but I'm 21. So I guess that's kind of a negative, but it's also really funny. But sometimes it just gets annoying because people are just like, you do not look your age. And I'm like, I know, I know. It just, it's sometimes it just gets so annoying because you say age and you're like, oh, here comes another person not going to agree with me. Like... Look, I'm 21, deal with it, I know I'm short, but who gives a crap? So, kind of people judging on your age because of your height. Number two, sometimes I get really, really weird looks and get the occasional, like, look like up down um, for what I wear because I, like, I dress for my age, but then sometimes they look at me and they're like, they just give you the impression that they're like, um, you are too young to be wearing clothes like that. And I'm like, I just don't say anything. I'm like, girl, I'm 21. I can wear what I want and I'm dressing my age. That's kind of a negative as well when people like judge you for what you're wearing because they don't actually know your real age. Number three, when you're shopping by yourself, because I live by myself, 
Sometimes when I go to the supermarket, I need to get something like up on the high shelf and I can't reach. So I have to wait until I see someone like walking past and stop them and be like, excuse me, can you reach that like up the top? And it's just, it's so annoying because you have to get someone to reach something that you can't reach. And it's so annoying because you're not tall enough to reach it. And it's just, bleh. That's another negative about being small. <laughs> Number four, constantly finding the correct jeans that are not too long. Because jeans, every time I buy jeans, they are always too long for my legs. I have to like roll them up 6,000 times. I mean, not 6,000 times, but they're always too long and I can never find jeans that are the perfect length for my legs because I am so short. I just hate it. It's so annoying. Number five, lucky last, is dealing with the pain in your feet after going out on a night wearing really high heels. Sometimes it is so painful, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do to look good. And I always wear heels when I go out to parties or even if I like go out and I wear really high heels because I try and be the same height as my friends even though I'm so short. I just wear heels all the time and sometimes the following day your feet are just in agony and it's so painful but you just got to deal with the pain and that's another negative of being short. And that is the five positive and five negatives about being short. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment any questions or comment. Check out the description bar for all my social media links and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you in my next